question 25, and we are going to start solving equations. We're going to put both things we learned through the past few days together to solve equations where we have to do both things. So we're going to have to do some subtraction or addition, and then multiplication or division, depending on what kind of problem we're looking at. So go ahead and write this one down, 4x plus 5 equals 17. All right, now who thinks they know what my first step has to be? Uh, Monica? Yeah, we want to subtract 5 first. So you guys, this is really important. Before we start dividing to get rid of this 4 on front of the x, we always, always, always have to do the addition or the subtraction first, okay? So we want to get this part that's 4x by itself. So we want to subtract 5 to start. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. Now I will get that 4x equals 12. Now I'm going to divide. Divide both sides by 4, by 4, and x equals 3. Not too bad, right? We're just putting both of our schools together. It's always addition and subtraction first. All right, go ahead and write that for this one, is to get this 2 fifths x by itself. The whole x part needs to be by itself. So what do I need to add to both sides? 3 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and add 3 tenths. Add 3 tenths. On each side of my equation. So I will have 2 over 5x equals 1 half plus 3 tenths. Now, if you wanted to change one half into tenths, what would I have to multiply this by? I just five over five. Be careful when you guys do this that you show both of those things. So now I'm going to get two over five x equals. This is going to be five tenths plus three tenths, so I'll get eight tenths. Alrighty. Now, what do I need to multiply both sides by to get this x all by itself? Reciprocal, yeah, so 5 over 2. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal because we have that fraction in front of the x times 5 over 2. Now I have x, because these guys canceled out, which is what we wanted, equals 8 tenths times 5 over 2. Does anyone see anything that's going to make my life easier? Ella? Yeah, we can actually do some cross-canceling in both directions. So this 8 and the 2, 2 goes into 2 one time, and 2 goes into 8 four times. 5 goes into 5 one time, and 5 goes into 10 two times. So we're left at 4 over 2, actually, which is just going to give me 3. And that looks like a minus. All right, what's up? Yeah, if you wanted to just, you could actually just write this equation out with, with everything in tenths if you wanted. Yeah. Doesn't really matter when you guys change, but for some of this, it is absolutely necessary to get a common denominator. So whenever you want to do that, it's fine. Just make sure you do it at some point. All right. 2 and a fourth x plus 3 sevenths equals 5 tenths. All right. Now we have a decimal problem. 1.2 equals negative 1.4 plus 20x. So to start, my first step is always going to be to try and get this entire x part by itself. So I'm going to have to add 1.4 to both sides. So 1.2 plus 1.4 gives me what, Evie? 2.6, yep. Just add those straight down. Equals 20x. And then what do I have to do to both sides to get x by itself? Divide. 
Divide by 20. Perfect. Divide by 20. X equals, with some mental math, 2.6 divided by 2 would be 1.3, and we can move our decimal point over one more spot because it was 20. Right? 0.13? You guys don't have to do that. You can use your calculator probably for that. Or you could do some long division. X equals 0.13. One more of these guys. 0.7X minus 0.4 equals negative 0.16. All right, uh, Nick in the back, what's my first step for this one? Add 0.4, yeah, because I want to get this part all by itself. So I'm going to add 0.4 to both sides of my equation, plus 0.4. These go away, which is what I wanted. I'm going to get 0.7x equals, what's negative 0.6 plus 0.4? Point 0.24? Survey says. Do people agree? I don't think I agree. Drew, what did you get? 0.24? Is that what it is, Nakaya? <laughs> 0.56. So this is a negative, though. Okay. Now what do I do? I have 0.7x equals 0.24. I want to get x all by itself. Leah? Yes. Divide by 0 0.7 on both sides. X equals, what's 0.24 divided by 0.7? That's a little tougher. True? So yeah, this decimal, this would make, hey guys, we have a, we have a good question because you guys will get more complicated decimal ones than this. So I should have probably lined it up better. This would be like 0 0.40. So the def, if the decimals were lined up, negative 0.16 plus 0.4, we could also think about that as 0.4 minus 0.16 if you wanted to split them. What's up, Josh? 